Film Black Panther hit theaters over the weekend and brought in a record of 192 million at the box office. But when Obama was president, we were told it meant everything. And then he was president for two terms, right? Reelected overwhelmingly. And then it turns out it didn't mean anything because we needed Chadwick Boseman to somehow make sure that black people felt accepted in American society because a bunch of white executives at Marvel greenlit a film about black people in a fictional country in Africa. Look what A Fox says, uh -huh. and she thinks that the studio should take a portion of the profits and give it to the black community. Okay. Do you, are you agree with that or disagree? I mean, I'm, that would be cool if that happened. That'd be really great. But can we just can we just have a movie, a horror, a movie like everybody else got a movie and enjoy it and have sequels and all that? Well now, children, tonight old Uncle Tom going to tell you the real true story. Welcome to Gully TV. You are tuned in to the Uncle Tom Show. I am your resident house Negro. And people are all excited about the Black Panther movie. Because it's it's a black superhero. Do white people go to movies, movie theaters and say, man, I can't wait to see Batman. Batman's an awesome white superhero. Makes no sense. I guarantee there will be more black people supporting this movie via bootleg DVD, via illegal download, then we'll set foot in that movie theater. It better come out good. I pay five dollars for two. <laughs> Yes, this movie will make a billion dollars. Black Panther will make a billion plus dollars. And a white man is going to prof, prof, profit prosper from 90% of it. Let's keep it a thousand. Ah. And there's this petition going on on change.org where uh, they're saying that uh, they're saying that 25% of the profits from this movie should be donated to the black community. Really? They're saying 25% of the profits from this movie should be donated to the black community. What do you think about that? Comment down below. Do you think 25% of the profits of Black Panther should be donated to the black community? Are we the only ones that do this? Wait, are we... Are, when a, a movie comes out that's all Mexican, do they say, hey, we need to donate 25% of that to the Mexican community? When Schindler's List came out, did they say, you yeah, know what? Maybe we need to donate 25% of this to the Jewish community. Yeah, right. yeah my name. Fuck out of here with that shit. Who's going to control the money when it comes in? Who's going to control this? Let's see, 25% of a billion dollars is $250 million. Who's going to control this? Our black leaders? Jesse Jackson? I wouldn't trust that motherfucker with my house plant if I went out of town for three days. Joining me now to talk about this and the nation's real problem of joblessness, the Reverend Al Sharpton. What's your reaction to hearing someone say, you know, uh, when it comes to income inequality, but all's well. The rising tide floats all boats. Uh, I'm Reverend Jesse Jackson. 
Right. I don't. You know, I'm so sorry. The uh, the script in front of me said Reverend Al Sharpton. I'm looking at your face. I know who you are, Reverend Jackson. We all do. I'm sorry. Well, Jackson to Reverend Jesse. I don't know what the hell he's saying. Ninety percent of the time, Jackson. Is he gonna is he gonna distribute the money fair and make sure everybody gets it fair? No, this will be a clusterfuck. Stop it. Donate twenty five percent of the profits to the black community. Stop. Like I said earlier, a white man's gonna make ninety percent of that money. Okay, and if you want to donate. Black people, 25% of any movie, then do it. Get in a position where you can do it. There are tons of billionaires in the black community. If they all got together, if they all got together, key phrase, if they all got together, okay, and said, you know what, maybe we should... Put our money together so we can be in the position that these white people are in, that these Jews are in, the ones who are making 90% of the fucking shit. This movie that's based in Africa, some white man somewhere is going to make 90% of the fucking profit. There it is, hands down, period. Yeah, you got stakeholders, you got all that, but most of that money that is going to be generated from this movie Black Panther is going to go to a white dude. And I ain't fucking hating. What I'm saying is, black people, niggas, we need to get in a position where we can do this. And we have billions. We have a lot of people in the black community who could do this. But why aren't we? Why aren't the, the P. Diddy's of the world? Why aren't the Jay-Z's of the world? Why aren't the Oprah Winfrey's up? Of the world! Two, three. White people are actually. Well, I don't know if it's white people who started this, but someone started a bunch of pictures that have been floating around the internet past couple of days oh I went to see I went to see Black Panther and I got beat up I got assaulted by black people yeah there are there are so many fake news stories and it caught on to a couple of, of bigger media outlets and they actually posted it and they were like yeah white people are getting beat up at screenings of Black Panther and it, it's just not true it's just race baiting pieces of shit trying to stir it up and fuck it up for everybody. That's all it is. And it's really fucking sad. I mean, it's some bullshit. It's really fucking sad. It's, 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 it's really sad. If I made those side rants. What's with everyone in wearing dashikis and African garb to this, uh, to watch this movie? What, what the hell is that all about? I passed by the fucking theater opening night and it looked like there was a ghetto reenactment of Lion King in front of the theater. I mean, there was bitches in dashikis and, and dirty ass fake Ugg boots. I'm like, really bitch? Like... You couldn't like wear some sandals or some. You're wearing a dashiki and a and a and some dirty fake UGG boots. What do they call them? Claws or something like that. Bitches wearing claws at motherfucking at the at, at, in front of the Norwalk Theater when I'm passing by. Really, bitches? No, no. Come on, baby. If you're gonna if you're gonna do the whole thing, do the whole thing. You got niggas in in an African hat and and. Fucking wearing Michael Jordans, nigga. Looking like Eddie Murphy and coming to America. Like, nigga, really? Come on. Always wanted to be beautiful, sexy. One, two, three. Just let your soul go. Just let it.
Bitches with dirty ass do rags that you knew that you know that bitch ain't washed that do rag in like in like at least three weeks and you know a do rag is is needs a good washing every once a week at least. Let's stop with that. Are you guys seeing that in your neighborhoods? Huh? Comment down below. Did you see guys? A lot of people. Rocking African garb and fucking dashikis and shit like that. Also, some white dude can make a lot of money. And then Vivica Fox was behind this whole, we should give 25% percent of whatever this movie makes to the black community they interviewed vivica fox yeah yeah what change you or want 25 percent of the proceeds from black panther to go back into the community i think yeah. that's an excellent idea what, how, how big would that be you, this is going to make billion yes, dollars i probably, hope it does know? i mean you know then that way they can do black panther two three four five and every time you know they'll donate to the community how much money have you have you donated to the black community? I'm just curious. I'm sure it's public record. Celebrity charities are public record if you want to dig deep enough. I don't give a fuck, but hey, if you guys out there if you want to care to do the digging for me, I'd like to know how much money Vivica Fox has donated contributed to the black community and she's been in this business she she was in independence day like 22 years ago and she was old back then so i know she was at least here way before then was it 50 cent fucking her like in back in 1983 or some shit like that fucking 77 old ass bitch said, oh no because i let her lick my ass she thinks i'm gay black panther the movie is being criticized for lack of LGBT representation. Apparently, they uh, they cut out a scene. Someone back me up. Uh, they cut out a scene of of two lesbian girls engaging in muff diving or some shit like that. They were rubbing their clits together or something. I don't know. No, they probably weren't doing that, but. They cut out, uh, I guess, some sort of lesbian scene, and then the the L G B T Q R M L M N O P got all pissed off. How many letters are in this fucking thing now? Because it's not just the L G B T now. It's it's like all right, lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, and then they got like all these other ones now. I, I don't know. I can't fucking keep up with this shit. But apparently the LGBT LMNOP are pissed off because they cut out a scene where two African bitches were doing something lesbian-ish. And that alone would have got me to go see the movie. But I'm keeping it real. I will most likely illegally watch it or bootleg it. I, I ain't fucking... I, I don't go to the... Last movie I went to pay to see was the Tupac movie, and before that, the last movie I went to see was N.W.A., and before that, the last movie I went to see was probably like fucking Child's Play 3 or some shit. Hi, I'm Andy. What's your name? Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> I ain't paying. I ain't fucking giving you... Twenty dollars. Fuck you. Go suck my dick, and then I gotta pay nine dollars for popcorn, and then seven dollars for. So fuck off, Nick. I, fuck you. No. And you're going to make a billion dollars anyway, regardless of if I go see it. No. But why are black people so happy that this is, this is the, this is a black superhero? And I've heard people say this is the first 
black superhero. No, it's not. This is not the first black superhero that's ever made it on the big screen. What about Blade? Come on! Lost! Kill him! Wait! I owe you, man! I got two new hands, Blade! I don't know which one to use to kill you with! Any of my 90s babies out there remember Handyman from A Living Color? <laughs> Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a giant handicap sign! Listen, I'd love to stay in chat, but there's someone who needs my help. I'll be back. So yeah, what do you think? Are you going to watch the movie? I mean, it looks like a great fucking movie. It looks like an awesome movie. But this is not the first black superhero. It's just not. It's not. We're seeing black people go, they're, they're going dressed in African garb and all of that. And, and they're going dressed in dashikis. We see them at the movie theaters. But what I don't like is I saw a couple of people with their kids throwing up the black power sign. <clears throat> I was just like, mm, no, no. In my eyes, the black power sign symbolizes just as much as hell Hitler. They do this, we do this. They do this, we do this. Just my personal opinion. Just this house Negro's personal opinion. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Comment down below. Do you think I'm tripping? I, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing people posing their kids in, in African dashikis and shit. And that's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm seeing them posting in, in, in beautiful gear. Because look, that shit's beautiful clothing. Not when it's with dirty ass Ugg boots, bitches. But they're telling some parent behind that phone is saying, All right, Santa, Tisha, Nisha, Spaghetti, Isha, hold up your hand like this and do this. Go like this. Yeah, hold your fist. I'm not digging that. I'm just not digging that. It's just not. It's not setting off the right message. Let's stop with this shit. Let's stop with this. Oh, we got a black superhero. Oh my gosh. You guys are so awesome for the support. I thank you guys so much. Gully TV, Gully TV, Uncle Tom Show. Comment down below, what do you think? Should Black Panther give 25% of its profits to the black community? And what is the black community? Who are they going to give it to? Like, how's that going to work? I don't know. And, and knock it off with the dashikis, please. Like, I don't want to fucking drive around East L. You know, I don't want to drive around South Central and look, feeling like I'm driving through Little Africa. Stop it. Gully TV Uncle Tom Show, thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you guys next time. And remember, work hard because millions of people on welfare depend on you. Peace, gang.